Hello and welcome back to Finance Walk. Uh, in last video, we have seen how to calculate uh, free cash flow to a uh, firm. Uh, in this video, the next step would be calculating uh, DCF, that is discounted cash flow valuation. Okay, so uh, uh, we have taken, uh, we have seen projections, we have seen uh, how to calculate uh, terminal growth uh, value. Okay, so uh, in last video, as we have seen, uh, it would be uh, important to calculate uh, free cash flow uh, for firm uh, for next 10 years and plus terminal value of future uh, uh, cash flows. Okay, so once we uh, derive it, next uh, part is to uh, discount this future cash flow and uh, uh, take them to present uh, value okay so uh, we'll start uh, calculating this VAC is already we have calculated this is VAC okay uh, next part is uh, we need to see years from the date of valuation so 2003 is one year from the date of valuation then uh, it is two then three so you can uh, select uh, this uh, three and uh, drag it till here so yes 10 years uh, we have uh, uh, taken uh, discount factor how to calculate discount factor it is the discount factor formula is 1 plus k raised to n k is, k is nothing but vac and n is nothing but number of years so here uh, put equal to sign uh, bracket open one plus this rate raised to n n is this figure and press enter now uh, since we want the same formula for next nine years uh, there is something constant that is uh, k is uh, constant here so since it is constant uh, you need to give dollar sign for this sale reference and uh, press enter and drag it till 2020 yes so you just need to check whether you are calculating it uh, correctly or not 1 plus c uh, 37 that is 12 percent raised to m 38 that, that is 10 it's correct press enter now uh, this the main important uh, point here present value of uh, future uh, cash flows uh, present value is nothing but uh, free cash flow divided by uh, discount factor for that year that is 1.12 okay uh, 3.97 point 0.74 then uh, drag it for next nine years till 2022 uh, i guess we have understood uh, how to uh, calculate it if if not go to this cell press f2 and check it is 958 divided by uh, 3.11 that is discount figure we need to discount these cash flows uh, since uh, the value wouldn't be same today as of uh, 10 years hence okay so that is the reason why we have discounted the uh, future cash flows to, uh, to present value okay uh, now we have to do it for uh, the last year so it is nothing but the same you need to take the same discount rate for perpetuity value also so press enter this divided by this and press enter okay so this is uh, uh, the formula for uh, present value of future cash flows okay so here present value of 1 to 10 year uh, cash flows what we, what we need to do we have to take uh, uh, summation okay we have to take a summation for first 10 years that is the formula is sum bracket open we have to take uh, this these values 1 till 10 so this array we need to take bracket complete press enter present value of terminal uh, uh, cash flow we have seen this 3147.21 this uh, it has come from n40 that, that is this value press enter total present value of cash flows now you need to uh, sum uh, first 10 years and 
next uh, terminal value so you need to uh, uh, take total uh, uh, present value of future cash flows so how we have done it go to this cell press f5 i'm sorry press f2 and check we have uh, uh, added d41 uh, that is this value uh, first 10 years cash flows and D42 that is terminal value of future cash flows and uh, this is how we have uh, come to this figure that is uh, 6727.48 total present value of uh, uh, cash flows now we need to uh, uh, deduct net debt level out of it so net debt level is we have already seen this net debt level uh, net debt level is this select this and press enter okay uh, then value of equity value of equity is nothing but total present value of cash flows uh, minus net debt level number of shares outstanding in crores we have already seen this number of shares outstanding is 13.60 so link this go to this cell put equal to sign and select this uh, cell press enter 13.60 now this is uh, how we get uh, value of equity per share so total value of equity divided by number of shares outstanding this will give us value of equity per share for single share this is value of equity 517 okay so this value we have derived uh, from DCF uh, uh, valuation calculation uh, we need to check whether uh, according to uh, DC valuation uh, the um, current uh, uh, market price is uh, uh, on uh, higher side or lower side or uh, whether the uh, particular uh, stock is overvalued or undervalued okay so current market price is 1246 uh, and uh, value of equity per share is 517 so definitely when the value is 517 and market is giving 1246 that means it is overvalued so we have uh, taken this calculation so uh, it is overvalued by 58 percent okay so appreciation uh, appreciation uh, possible as per our DCF valuation is negative 58 uh, percent that means uh, current appreciation is not possible at this value of uh, and this ma uh, this current uh, this value as per DCF and this uh, price as per market uh, uh, market okay so uh, this is our uh, 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 judgment or, or what we say this is what we uh, uh, write in our equity research report that the share price uh, uh, is uh, uh, overvalued or the current uh, uh, value of uh, seems or current price seems overvalued uh, because DCF value is 517 and current price is 1246 okay uh, this is a this, this was DCF valuation uh, uh, but we need to this we we should not depend on uh, only one valuation there has to be at least two three different valuations we need to check before we uh, make an investment so as an investor or uh, as an analyst you need to take this into account okay so in next videos we will uh, see different uh, valuations uh, to support uh, this uh, discounted cash flow valuation thank you